Yes, Steve, back in January, DHHS announced it was looking for a private company to administer part of the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or TANF, program. We've now learned that a New York City company has placed the winning bid on a request for proposal. That company, FedCap Rehabilitation Services, will likely end up administering the Aspire program. That's a program that helps TANF recipients try to find work. DHHS says this is about getting more out of the program that helps people become self-sufficient. The change will impact state jobs. We talked with Democratic State Representative Drew Gatine about that. We have experienced state staff who have been doing this job for years. I've met with some of those people. I think they seem to have some good ideas um, about, about how to work with people. Um, and it's unfortunate to me that um, you know, they're going to be kicked to the curb and, and we're going to bring people from outside of the state to come in and do this important work. Now there is a public hearing on this rule change that's scheduled for 11 a.m. on Wednesday in Augusta. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.